I went to the wrong spot, but at least uh, when they I'm still in time. Shaquille O'Neal used to love that effect, and then my all-time favorite. There we go. Game. Uh, was NFL ESPN 2K5 with Terrell Owens on the cover. I think it revolutionized the uh, game. Kill his big head sport, in the way. Uh, as far as the game is concerned, and um, it just it, it gave me a greater appreciation for football and what uh, what goes into it strategy wise and everything. So uh, I, I loved it. And NBA 2K, obviously, I play that uh, religiously. I know I saw your your PlayStation controller. Looks like the the thumbstick you wore out almost, right? That's right. But I, I but I, and it's still with me. I still use it. I haven't upgraded yet. Yeah, oh my god. All right. Well, I'm sure this uh, this controller probably went around the world with you as you were making this uh, this big new movie, uh, Tenet. And I mean, everyone is, is so excited about this. And I'm sure you're excited. You, you finally get to talk about it, right? Woo! Yes, I'm super excited. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Um, just to be a part of it. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Christopher Nolan. So uh, this is a dream come true. Well, uh, we've all been uh, wanting to see more of it, and uh, without further ado, let's get to it. The world premiere of the brand new trailer for the first time ever right here in Fortnite. Check it out. Come on! Peely, why does your head have to be so big? There we go. All I have for you is a word. Tenet. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Use it carefully. To do what I do. I need some idea of the threat we face. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm getting here. No. Something worse. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Mike, bring me in. You really want to know? He can communicate with the future. Time travel. No. Inversion. Name it and pull the trigger. You're not shooting the bullet. You're catching it. Oh. Well, I've seen too much. Might well try and keep up. Duty transcends national interests. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with. I thought you were going to say nuts. This is where our worlds collide. How would you like to die? Old. You chose the wrong profession. from here hasn't happened yet there are people in the future who need us I need a tenant we need to save them here and now this reversing the flow of time doesn't us being here now I mean it never happened You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. No, it's so dramatic. Well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic. Hmm. Pretty cool looking. We need to start. A couple minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! There you go. The new trailer for Tenet. Uh, John David. Uh, more questions. Maybe a few more answers. But uh, <laughs> what an amazing, uh, what an amazing epic film. Uh, tell me. I mean, what was your reaction when you saw that trailer? Because you obviously, you know, spent a long time filming this thing. But the way that yeah. you know, the way it's cut together, and the and the, the, the sort of the the questions that it's prompting. Um, what was your reaction when you saw it? 
Um, I was overwhelmed with, with joy, um, uh, disbelief suspended in that. Um, uh, I was admiring how well the beard was kept up. <laughs> um, but uh, really, it, it's just, you know, it's interesting because there are just little, you know, nuggets of um, information and just breadcrumbs of information about the movie that I was surprised mm -hmm. that he was going to reveal. And um, I, I love that he did. And um, it's just, I, you know, being a fan, a huge fan of Christopher Nolan, this seems like, you know, we're familiar with his films. We obviously know his films, but this seems like something different. It seems like this is where he's about to take us for the next 10 to 15 years of filmmaking. The scale and the epicness of it, that's what just blows me away to see all those different countries. And, and for you, I, I assume you sort of had a world tour in a way. Uh, it looks like, I mean, you were in India, Italy, like all these different places. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you really filmed in all those locations, right? Yeah, we were there from, you know, Tallinn, Estonia to Mumbai, India, Amalfi Coast, uh, Copenhagen. We, it, it was, it was, and uh, to me, it just gives all, it gives the film so many different personalities. There's, there's an international um, um, uh, environment that's set with these characters that they're placed in. And, you know, what you saw is where we were. It's not, uh, yeah. it's not green screened. You know, we had, we had some cameras out there and we filmed it and at these beautiful locations and uh, sort of in these interesting sort of, uh, alien like looking planet looking places as well so it, it was um, it, it, which gave it gave me more motivation to like just give it my all because of the set pieces and where we are and so detailed and and specific to the story that we're trying to tell you know and when you when you watch the trailer I recommend highly recommend watching it again and again you get more answers you get more answers you know Oh, I just said there, there, every little line of dialogue, I'm sure, has to be, you know, kind of reverse engineered and dissected. There's a lot going on in this film, like you would expect from Christopher Nolan, but the, the epicness matched with, you know, such an interesting narrative and huge stunt sequences, action sequences. Um, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you about that, because from a stunt perspective, I mean, you're doing things that are not supposed to be humanly possible. And I mean, it's just right. uh, like the reverse repelling or whatever you call that. Um, I don't know how much you can share about what's really going on there, but I, how did you film those things? Um, uh, Chris and Hoyta von Hoytema had a camera and, uh, and we, and we, <laughs> and, and probably, uh, probably can't stuff. talk about that. No, but like it, it was, it was some of the moves that we were doing, especially those hand to hand sequences and uh, the physicality of it all. Some of our, our stunt guys, George Cottle and company, you know, they've never done some of these moves before. They, they were sort of inventing them for this movie specifically. So it's so exciting that um, that uh, we were, mm. were going to be able to introduce this, you know, new style of fighting, this nap. new style of combat, you know what I mean? And um, again, to be seen in a theater, in a movie, on a big movie screen, it's going gonna, it's, it's, yeah. it's gonna to be so vibrant. Oh, my God. Telling you. No, and, and again, this what I love about this film too is that it's, it's going to be thought provoking. I think you know it's the thing you want to experience with your friends, talk about afterwards, and pull apart. Yes. And I'm sure even as you yes. guys were filming, you were trying to kind of you know understand all the layers of this because again, like every what day, we see is only the surface. Every day, I, I was bugging for every day. I had questions for him, you know, and, uh, and but he he was very gracious and he answered them very calmly and patiently with me. Uh, he. he uh, it was important that uh, we were able to track the, uh, the actors, track the story correctly, so we can tell it the best way we could. And uh, so he was very patient with us. And I say that very politely. <laughs> well, 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 you're lucky that you get to get to text Chris Nolan when you have a question about the film. The rest of us just have to carefully dissect the trailer and go to Reddit right. to try and understand what's really going on there. But I got to say, it's like so many hints. And that's what we love, I think, is like you know, slowly peeling back the layers of this, um, but right, still right. having such an interesting... Um, heartfelt story that I'm sure is at the core of this film, like all of his work. Um, and yeah, it's 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 so exciting to to get a glimpse of this. Um, the the airplane sequence at the end uh, of the trailer that was completely unexpected. I didn't know we were gonna see that or that was even in the film. Um, yeah. How, is that like a practical effect with like a real 747? Yeah, that that was a real plane, out, and that was a real building that they crashed that plane into. And we, you know, cast and crew all witnessed it. It was epic, you know. It was it was incredible, and uh, you know, we all cheered and, and uh, prayed and hurrahed. Guys, uh, better uh, get this on the first take, or we're all fired. <laughs> uh, yeah, that what you saw oh, is really gosh. what happened. At oh, least the night uh, I was there. <laughs> No, I gotta say, uh, the scale of this looks absolutely incredible. Uh, we all can't wait to see it, and I think I speak for everyone here in Fortnite. Um, 
being so Excuse honored me. that you know you and Chris decided to bring Tenet first to Fortnite to show the world Fort this Dor way. <laughs> no, this you, is uh, again. We're making history, and uh, thank yeah. you so much, John David, for, for for joining us. You made it into a video game finally. I did it? Um, did it? Hopefully, the first of many. Oh, <laughs> hope so. Hope so. Hope so. Awesome. All right, John David Washington. Thanks for joining us. Thanks again to John David Washington. And before I go, there is one final surprise. This summer, we will be screening an iconic Christopher Nolan full-length feature film right here on the big screen. Stay tuned for more details. Hmm. This summer, they're going to be screening a full-length feature film in the game from Christopher Nolan. Wow. Okay. That's that. Thanks for watching.